I'm proud of the example I've set for my daughter. My daughter is six years old and she's a walking philosopher. In fact, one of my pieces that I've written is an assemblage of her little sayings that she says out loud. She says the most random, beautiful things. That this little six-year-old girl seeing her dad, even at this point in his life, getting his master's degree, and she is uh, falling in love with learning. My name is Mason Lamb, and I am getting a Master of Arts in Music Composition. I am from Clovis. I've been there, lived there my whole life. I uh, started my undergrad right out of high school in 95 here at Fresno State and went well for about a semester and I was completely unprepared emotionally, uh, mostly emotionally for the freedom, for the responsibility, for the uh, challenges of a college education. And I ended up really slacking off in all of my studies due to a lot of outside baggage. So I ended up taking a gap year, which turned into multiple years. And by the time I came back, I had to start basically from scratch. So I didn't end up graduating with my bachelor's until 2006. And at that point, I was you know, in my late 20s. So, uh, but I had to do a real hard course correction. I had to have some life experience, had to grow emotionally. Uh, I had to clear out a lot of the clutter, a lot of the junk in my own life and get back on track and uh, fall in love with learning all over again. Uh, but in terms of education, I would love to be able to pursue a doctorate. Uh, in addition to everything else, I think uh, teaching might be, uh, might be something I'd strongly consider. In fact, uh, very strongly consider. One was the first time I came back here and I wasn't even enrolled yet. I was helping out a person with his senior recital. And there were my old professors. They literally flung open their arms and said, hey, how you been? And they literally welcomed me back with open arms. I was not prepared for that kind of reception. I didn't even think they'd remember me. <laughs> and sure enough, they did. And uh, they, they, they talked me into it. I, the other one is having all the premieres. I have had so many opportunities for music premieres. I have had my music played by phenomenal orchestras, by the Youth Orchestra of Fresno, by the Fresno State Symphony, by FUSA. I've had my music played here at Fresno State, here on town, and at Walt Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles, which is just amazing. And that was one of those things where you put that at the top and go, wow, pinch me, is this really happening? But probably the most rewarding moment that happened here at Fresno State wasn't any of that. It was something very small. Uh, when I started in with my composition lessons with my professor, Dr. Froelich, I really spelled out that I wanted to break free of my bad habits. And he was, you know, very professional, but very poignant and say, you know, this doesn't work, this works, this doesn't work. A few weeks ago, actually, I come in with a composition and he looks at it and goes, yeah, that's great. I like this. It was like everything he taught me out of his work. In addition to all of these wonderful events I've had happen here at Fresno State, that was probably the one that stuck in my brain. It's like, wow, that's cool. That's really, it's small, but it's the one that is in my heart. I wrote a piece and it worked. I was shocked, to be very honest with you, because my colleagues are brilliant. I know them. I've seen what they can do. I've seen their research. I was very surprised, especially given the fact that, I, like I said, I was the world's worst undergraduate, and then I come back, get my master's degree. I've crossed those bridges. I've made those changes. I've overcome those obstacles. And I can say, here's where I am now. Here's where I came from. It is possible. It's possible to overcome anything. It's possible to make that change. It's possible. And if nothing else, I can hold up and say, Here's evidence of what I did. Here's the effort. Whether or not I win is, isn't the point. It's just saying, I made the change, and I'm continuing to make that change. Uh, I was invited to write a, uh, an orchestral concert overture for uh, the uh, Fresno Orchestra Summer Academy, FUSA. It took me a while. I had to go to some really deep emotional search to find the gumption for it. But I decided to call the piece Solstice because Solstice means sun stopping. It's the point where the sun stops and starts going in a different direction, at least from our perspective here on Earth. And seeing that as a metaphor for my own academic career and my own life, uh, where I for so long was on one path that I thought was my path, that I thought was carved in stone for me. I'm like, nope, let's stop and let's change direction. 
So the piece tried to encapsulate the, the fears, the wonder, and ultimately the reward of making that turn, stopping and making that turn and going in a new direction.